surviving that's how i'm doing so pretty good yeah like i i don't want to hurt myself uh -huh. but I, i'm i'm not like over the moon happy about the fact that we're still locked inside i know but america's a little bit less insane now i don't live in america no but if you want to do the the road trip at some point Yep. I know. I've been getting loads of questions from people going, oh, how's America? How's California? Ah. So I got to the airport with my dog mm -hmm. and all the suitcases and they went, oh, no, madam, you can't, you can't get on the plane. And I was like, why? And they were like, well, there's a global pandemic. And I was like, yeah, but my lawyer said it was fine. And apparently my lawyer was wrong. And the plane was still going. Yeah, but you, you had to be an American citizen. Right. So my green I am a green card holder, but apparently was that was not good enough for them. Um, so I got turned away, and uh, I put all my belongings in storage, and I sold my car, and I left my house. So now I'm living in a camper van. <laughs> I must have to also point out that this is not my camper van. This would be a very nice, it's a very spacious <laughs> camper van. I like that you've you've hung up paintings inside. Yep. Yeah. Um, no, this is a friend's house that I am currently staying at. So they have very kindly let me let me stay here for the portion of the pandemic whilst I'm building Wanda, which is the name of my camper. Van. That's beautiful. I love that name. Um, they don't mind you taking off all your clothes and dancing around and being hypnotised and things. No, 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 they don't actually. Strange that, but no, it doesn't seem to bother them. Excellent. Good. Uh, have you been getting hypnotised much? Yeah, well, unfortunately for me, I have not uh, had a lot of hypnosis fun. been happening recently. Um, I've been working on the van a lot. I've been doing custom videos a lot. So I've been doing a couple of custom video hypnosis things. Mm -hmm. But obviously, I find it very difficult to hypnotise myself. A few moments later. All you want to do is follow my command. You're becoming sleepier now. Your eyes beginning close and your mind emptying as you relax into a deep deep trance getting further and further away from reality just sinking down on the count of three one two three <laughs> so um, most of them have been staged I don't so know. you're pretty practiced to be honest and I think if you just better I am like I have no I was watching one of my videos that we did way back in like 2017 all them years ago mm. and I was realizing I've come on leaps and bounds so I was quite quite pleased did you fall over um, at that point and just like flump like a rag doll and bang your head on things um what back in 2017 mm. i still do that now no so. i know that you do now but did you always do that i don't remember i think so i think i've always been quite slumpy not that we like the head banging because we want you to be you know healthy and happy i think some people probably like the head banging I'm not concussed maybe mm -hmm. maybe they do but it's a uh, it's a bit too much of a niche that one uh, yeah well we'll verge away from that today i'm even wearing my cute little mm -hmm plaid shirt because I've been in my camper van all outdoorsy. In fact, something very excited to share with my fans. You will never guess what I ordered to be delivered today. Are you ready? Do you want to, do you want to guess? Uh, a fluffy steering wheel cover. No. Furry dice. Not lingerie, right? Oh, uh, Not van, van lingerie, like stockings for your van, like just like a no. fishnet, a fishnet van. Van suit. I ordered my very own professional table saw. Is that one with the big round discs? It's like a table with a saw in the middle, and then if you want to cut a piece of wood super, super straight, you just run it all the way through and you don't have to f it up once. Nice. Apparently, 
Shut the advert. You find yourself feeling now like you're having strings tied around your wrists. Strings extending upwards into the air, tied to large balloons, inflatable balloons. Beautiful coloured balloons hanging in the air and pulling, lifting, raising your wrists, pulling your hands up. Feel that happening. You feel so weightless. You've got no strength in your body and your hands just pulled up by the wrists. Both hands pulled in the air. Both hands floating upwards. And perhaps you're feeling a little bratty. Maybe there's a brat in you that wants those hands back, but when you try to pull them back, they're just pulled in the air. Pulled in the air, you can't control them. They float in the air. Where do you want trance to take you, little one? Deeper. So very deep. What do you want to be? Control. Completely control. Who do you want to be? No one. You won't be a single thing at all. Your mind, your identity, everything will just be stripped away. Empty headed, oblivious little plaything. Just doing as it's told, that's what you'll be. The second that I snap my fingers and how much do you want that? More than then feel everything dropping as you drop down deep three, two, one. Deep breath in, big breath out. Mm, really wonderful, and noticing that you've got a sofa hair again, which you'll have to fix. But every time that you try and fix your hair, you're uh, you freeze in place until I say release. Three, two, one. Wide awake, feeling wonderful, and you fell asleep again. Oh, hi, I mind controlled you. Ha ha ha. You did. I have droopy hair again. With my mind control powers. That's what I do. Good girl. So my friend is here, they'll go and get my parcel, but I'm now going to be thinking it might be my saw table for the entire time that we're here. <laughs> I'm like really super excited about that. On a scale of like one to ten, uh -huh. of in a excitement, mm. because of lockdown, I'm probably like an 11, because I've never had a saw table before. Think about all the things I could saw with it. I could saw wood, Plastic, wood. Metal? Does it do metal? Metal. I'd have to wear those. I've got some cool, like, safety glasses that are pink, obviously. Like, super. Are you okay in there? My parcel's not here yet. I wonder if I could persuade you to play with your hair when my parcel arrives, and then you won't even know that it's come. Are you, are you doing your best sex doll impression? This is very good. Wouldn't wouldn't that be great, Honor? Honor. Oh, release. release. Excited about it. <laughs> it's really good. So you're not. Oh, maybe that's my thought table. Could you sit back a little bit for me? Just, I'm missing the top of your forehead. It's a very it's a very nice forehead. So I want all of it in. Hello. What's your name, little one? <laughs> my name's Honor. It's Honor, is it? That's a, that's a, how how do you pronounce that again? Honor. So it's. H-O-N-O-L-O-R It's the English way because in America they think huh but it's actually pronounced Han. Yeah, well they put a U in it. No, we put a U in it. We spell it right. They spell it with an O and no U. And we pronounce it Han. Whereas they pronounce it Han. Ah. And realise, Honor, what was your name, Honor? You just said it twice. I did, but I've forgotten already what I said. How do you pronounce your name? I pronounce my name Hunt. 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 My name yes. is Hunt. Is? Hang on, I got this. <clears throat> my name is Hunt. Hunt. Hang on. Super gets the early doses. Hunt. No, doesn't work. Out and sticks out. Tongue comes oh. out and sticks out. And it's just stuck out now. It's what? Because it's cute and you know, people might like the idea of feeding you feeding you chocolate, probably. Would you like some chocolate? Uh-huh. Would you like um a hot dog? Uh-uh. Cheeseburger. Uh-uh. Are you vegan? No. What kind of foods what's what's your favourite sort of spicy meal? Personal, um, so I take it that you understand why I've asked you into my office this afternoon. Not really. 
Excuse me? Not really, Miss Spencer. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> we have had numerous complaints throughout the staff about your inappropriate behaviour, language, and general... Oh, that's bullshit. My language is fine. Me! You will not speak to me in that tone. Do you understand? It wasn't... Do you know who I am? I've been the founding CEO of this company for over 20 years. What's a CEO? Um, is that like... Are you like the manager's manager? How did you get hired again? Oh, it, Can you it was it was it was Tracy. A, it was... An up-to-date CV because I've looked at your records and we have no information about you, how you've managed to get your position here. We are one of the top-ranking photography companies in the world. We do not just take on anybody. I take really nice pictures, you know. Coming into work wearing Crocs, not acceptable. <laughs> but in they're so every... comfortable. <sighs> what kind of shoes have you got on? high heels on. I don't. Thank you. I can't see them. I, I, I assume you're wearing Crocs as well. <clears throat> Let me play this very clearly to you. If you continue with the attitude that you have, you will be asked to leave permanently. Dun, dun, dun. Do you understand? <clears throat> so have you worked here long? Why are we in here? I don't know. I think Miss... Did she say why we were coming in today? I don't know. She was just being all high and mighty. She can. I think. It's, right, I think it's dress code. This is just between you and me, right? But she can be up herself sometimes, like proper, you know, snooting. Yeah. Like she's that she's this, you know, gorgeous or whatever. She's not that pretty. If she was, surely she'd be one of the models and not the C. No. Well, anyway. I mean, she's 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 what? She's nearly twenty six. She's getting she's getting a bit old now, isn't she? Yeah, I mean, technically, 23 is, like, borderline. You should see the girls we've got here. Yeah, but yes, yeah, it's, it's, she was talking about, about my shoes. What kind of shoes you got on? I've got Crocs on. What have you got on? Yeah, Crocs. Yeah, they're so comfortable, aren't they? One of the other things that we've had complaints about is the way you've been speaking and treating your co-workers, what? okay? I'm just speak, treat them like mates, ask them down the pub. You know, it's just friendly. It's just bants. Do you want to go down okay. the pub? Talk over me will be leaving this office without a job. Do you understand? Yes. Yes what, Miss Spencer? Okay? Yes what, Miss Spencer? Okay, okay. sorry. My little joke. <laughs> You're really funny. No, I'm, I'm the intern. I'm actually helping like make coffee and stuff. Oh, cool. Um, I've, got papers. I've got the, um, the times. Do you want a copy of the time? No, but some. tell you what, if you just let your hair down for me, I reckon you could be one of the models as well. I think you should just like let it let it down. Yeah, whoa, whoa, look at that. <laughs> I don't. And like, think I... and like, kick kick the legs about. Uh, these are my hands. Woo, lovely. Yeah. Have you got Have you got any? Oh, it's that red stockings you're wearing. Very nice. Do you want to see them? Yeah, go on then. Ba -da -da -da. Oh, I love the hearts. <laughs> you like them? My boyfriend got me them for Valentine's Day. He said it made me look super professional. They do. They look really nice. I bet you'll go uh, a long way. Oh, excuse you, me? You let your hair down. It's nice. Uh, I'd really appreciate it if you wouldn't make such, well, forward comments. Are you wearing just one shoe? I think you'll find that you're not wearing any shoes. I'm, wear I'm wearing comfy slippers because it's a Zoom meeting, innit? You're wearing two Crocs, which as we've already established is completely inappropriate. We need to get back to the serious issue at hand here. Yes. Why My promotion. Oh, you're, you think you're funny. Um, don't mind me. I'm just checking myself for lumps. It's an incredibly normal thing to be doing. Future, if you want to keep working with this company, 